Okay. Hmm. Let's see. We need some music. A little music for the background. <laughs> Okay. Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I'm going to do another sketchbook tour. And uh, I've got this camera on, my Canon. And I'm going to also grab my GoPro. <laughs> I'm going to try using this this time to uh, capture some of the art. So this is, uh, this is a sketch pad that uh, I could actually insert any piece I want. Oh, there's actually two in here. Oh, well, that's weird. <laughs> so I've been practicing trying to do more kind of realistic stuff too. And uh, I'm just working on it, you know, just practicing, practicing. I look at some of the most uh, accomplished artists that do classical drawing and stuff, and uh, I'm about a three or a four compared to their ten. But that's how you get better. You just study other people. That's weird that this one was in there. <laughs> Maybe I'll put this one on the front and leave this one out. But yeah, here's the other one. Just trying different faces and stuff. Put this over here for now. So I usually start from the back and go backwards. Some more sketches. Trying different things. I really messed this up. I was trying to paint it with, with wash and I just didn't approach it right. Kind of screwed it up. another one that got the proportions off when they decided to abandon it. This is some stuff I was doing for my grandson. It was a policeman arresting a, a turkey, but I don't remember. It was a joke or something. Some more stuff. There's just people online or on Instagram, and then I... But I like doing these little bodies, too. These little figures. This is another one I did for my grandson. It was like a ham sandwich goes into a bar and asks for a beer. And the bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food. Some more painting stuff. I was experimenting with watercolors and stuff. This is kind of interesting. This is getting kind of closer to what I'm trying to achieve. But my brain is so sped up, I just... Hard for me to slow down and take my time with stuff sometimes. Something I did for my daughter, Robin. I did these the other day with the Verithin, Prismacolor Verithin Indigo Blue. I really love that pencil. I was copying Carl Kopinski when I did that. Sometimes I study uh, Rockwell. What's his name? God, I just can't remember things today. Norman Rockwell. <laughs> I was practicing hands. It's copying Carl Kopinski. But I kind of messed this guy up. His proportions are really off. But I keep trying.
practicing hands. I was studying shadows and stuff. And shading. This one's good. I'm getting closer to what I'm trying to do. But then I have different styles too. I have really cartoony stuff and more like caricature types. I really like her. I think she came out great. This one I screwed up too. Here again I'm studying shadows and stuff. This one I did recently and I posted on Instagram. I messed up the hand. It just it looks really looks really weird. But the rest of it's pretty cool. This one's pretty. It's a little pen and ink with some Tombow markers, I think. Practicing pen and ink. I think this one's a dip pin. Some weird doodles. She's creepy as hell. <laughs> Something that went nowhere. This is Carl Kopinski again. I was trying to copy him. This one too. Again, the proportions are kind of off. I like this guy. This cowboy kind of looks like my brother Kevin. Batgirl. I like her a lot. She's so cute. More Batgirl, different versions. I kind of messed up with the coloring in there. This one's kind of weird, his face is really elongated. I redid that one and I colored it. Started to do some type of car thing, but that, that stuff's so hard for me. I'm gonna make a video about this stuff later. Endotherm, Solrads, Luke Effect, Squeens, Burgett's, Boozex, Spurl, Wafterom, Heights, Dites, Vites. Anybody know what this stuff is? <laughs> I did a little Triceratops, but I added horns on the top, the top two horns. I wasn't really copying Sarah from The Land Before Time, but it does look like her. It's my other style, more cartoony kind of stuff. This I'm copying Mitch Liu. I follow him on Patreon, and uh, he's a great teacher, French guy. I like this, and I like the the motion of the cake here. She came out cool. I like her better than this one. And I have three pencils that I like a lot. It's a little quick self-portrait I did of me painting a clock character. This was an experiment, doing a couple zombies. Some more people, she was online. And these other ones, I think I just made these other ones up. <laughs> this guy with the rat. I like his hands. Just more studies. More people here and there. And this one I I sold to somebody from Portland. Portland, Oregon. So they get a bonus sketch, they get this one too. <laughs> yeah, somebody liked that. Once in a while people will say, oh, I really want to buy that. This 
guy's interesting. I'm trying to get do more of this realistic type stuff, but just still working on it. This one's weird. This guy's foot's off too big and at the wrong angle. But that's how you get better. This is all uh, the Prismacolor Cola Race pencil. I like that one. I'm trying to play with perspective, these little figures here. His foot got all messed up. It seems like it should be farther that way. This is kind of cool, cola can with a hand holding it. And here I was copying uh, a woman I follow named Jenna Anderson on Instagram. She's really good. This is a sketch I did for uh, for somebody online, a patron that wanted they're painting a like a kayak store, and they wanted me to do a sketch for them that they could use for the the windows. I did that for them. This is a real-time sketch. It took me like 90 seconds. This is the other sketch I did for the person, the patron, where it says "We're back, sale." But they were, he was asking me about suggestions for the storefront, like a layout, so I did that for him. There's a guy named Ver, Vergerm or Vergerm, and I did a caricature of him and copied some of his sculptures. This is supposed to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> this actually started at, from Napoleon Dynamite, I think that's his name. And then it turned into this weird kind of woman. Somebody was interested in this sketch too, but they said they wanted me to redo it bigger and I didn't really want to do that. So I just, I just did it like it is. This one's cool. Cowboy with COVID cowboy. It's sort of a political statement on milk. This one's kind of interesting. She's just kind of off her arm and stuff, but again, that's how you get good. Duck Sheriff? <laughs> cheese, big cheese. This is a video I'm going to make on Pludes. Wafteram. Burgets. More sketches. And kind of a snake. This is Mitch Liu again. I was kind of copying some of his stuff, like this guy. His foot's off. Both feet are off. This foot should be kind of going more this way, I think. And this foot, it just needs to be tilted or something. I love the hands, though. I like this hand a lot. The zombie boy. More practicing. The zombie character. This one I'm going to work on some more. It's kind of cool. I like this pose here with the skeletal woman zombie. I actually like this pose too. Although her arms, I'm not sure if they're in the right spot. <coughs> I 
That's it. That's all of it. I'll put these back in. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>